Hello people. There are two system of measuring things that are currently used in the world. If you live in United States this system is called imperial system and if you live anywhere else in the world, this system would be the metric system. There are obvious differences in these systems, as in metric we use meter, kilometer, centimeter and millimeter to measure length whereas in imperial, inch, foot, yard, and mile are used for the same purpose. Similarly while measuring liquids, metric use liter and milliliter, and in imperial we use gallon and pint. People of United States use imperial units while the rest of the world use metric. This works fine for the most part. But this smooth functioning was disrupted in 1999 when due to using this imperial system, the National Aeronautics and Space Agency lost a $125 million Mars orbiter. To know how and why that happened. Let's get into it. How NASA had lost a Mars orbiter once. In December of 1998, NASA launched a probe to study Martian climate, atmosphere and surface. The probe was supposed to orbit the red planet and send data back to Earth. The main objective was to study the red planet for possible availability of water, and to look for evidence of any past climate change event. That might have transformed the red planet from a paradise to a desert as we know it as today. But things didn't go as planned. On September 8, 1999, on that fateful day when NASA tried to put the probe into orbit, the probe lost contact with the ground base operations unit. After the tragedy, NASA opened an investigation into the matter. On November 10, 1999, the investigation concluded that the probe lost connection due to technical error which occurred because of the way the software that was handling the navigation system of the probe. As it turns out that the software which was created by Lockheed Martin was programmed to read the force in Imperial unit of pound. While the other software in the same chain which was created by NASA was programmed to read the force in metric unit of Newton. The difference produced in the final result caused by using two different units of measurement was significant enough that the probe ended up in a position where it entered the Martian atmosphere and most probably burned down due to friction. Even though, the software provided by Lockheed Martin was not up to the mark as NASA told them they want everything work on the metric system. But in the end, NASA did not blame Lockheed Martin for the fault. As the investigation concluded that even though the software produced result in non-desired format, but it was also the responsibility of NASA to test everything before launch and make sure everything worked according to the plan. In the end we can see that all this can be averted if everyone involved in the process would have used the same measurement system. Or if NASA had conducted proper tests before going forward with the mission. But, as it stands, we cannot change the past, we can only learn from it. And NASA did exactly that. After that incident NASA scaled back its proposed programs and redefined its approach towards Mars, and this brings positive results. As we have seen that NASA have successfully sent several rovers on Mars. Thanks for watching, if you like this video hit like and subscribe for more and don't forget to ring the bell icon, I will be back with another interesting video next week, until then stay curious.